Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jewel Suds and Soaps. What we're doing today is more of like a spring soap. And I have these pretty colors, it's like neon colors. It's probably not really showing up, but they're bright colors, they're pretty. And right here I have 12 ounces of the goat's milk, I'm sorry, of olive oil suspended base. And I have 12 ounces of the goat's milk suspended base. They're both suspended bases. And I am using my mold. <clears throat> so pretty, it's a fondant mat, and I cut it to size. So we're going to use that. So what I'm going to do is microwave these um, 30 seconds at a time. After 30 seconds, take it out. If you can manually stir out the rest, do that. Otherwise, put it in the microwave and just keep repeating the process. Okay, I'll see you in about probably eight minutes. Okay, we are back. I melted these down. This has a few clumps here. I am going to be adding lavender fragrance oil. And I'm not going to add it to the white. I'll add it to this olive oil. Let me check the temp on this. So before, I, I'm thinking it needs to go back in, but I want to make sure it's not too warm. Yeah, it's 140. It can go in for a little bit longer. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I know they're going to be too warm right now to pour. I generally like to um, pour in the low, I would say, 130s. Okay, so this is really warm. I'm going to let the soap itself melt each other. Okay, so I'm adding the fragrance oil. And it's lavender and there's um, 10 mLs. Smells really nice. Smells clean. Okay, let's see how we're doing on the white. Okay, 137. I'm going to start mixing the colors. Okay, so there's already existing soap in here because I just made a soap, a different soap. So I'm going to have to put these in the microwave. Um, these bigger pieces won't. Yeah, I need to put it in the microwave. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Okay, so I made sure that my mold, you know, is sprayed thoroughly. This will provide sheen. It'll look pretty. Okay, so I'm going to pour the white first. I'm going to do it so you can see it and I can pour. Really kind of thickening up. liking it so far. Come on, Shepard. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. Put some purple in. Yeah, everything's really, really starting to thicken up. Go back in with some pink. I have to do at least one clump. I really do like the colors. All right. I'm going to put this blue in for a little bit longer. are having a good day. Yeah, it's 
very thick. You can see it. I will melt that down. I do want to use that on the top. been one of those days. I just can't get these to stay the same temperature. I love the colors together for sure. I'm sure this is going to be too warm to pour. Yeah, it's 149, so I'm just going to keep spraying it. That will bring it down some. In the meantime, I'm going to pour more purple. Okay, so let me take the temp on this blue. 139. I do want it a little bit cooler than that. And I am going to melt the rest of this white down. Top it off with this white. I can use the other for um, different another another day. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to get a little thicker. I'm gonna put these other in one of these molds. I really do love these colors for sure. All right, let me see. Let me check the temp on this. Lay down, honey. Yeah, we're still at like a 151. Take the temperature now on this white. I'm actually going to pour it in here so I can have a little bit of that blue. And I like using this nozzle better, the funnel. Knock those air bubbles out. Love it. Okay, we'll see you guys in probably about two or three hours. See you then. Okay, we're back for the unmolding. I'm just going to get this mold off. I mean, on the outside, it's stunning. The colors are beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay, so here's the top. Now, I am going to have to put glitter on it, of course. I hope you can pick up the vibrancy of these colors. They are very, very vibrant. And here was the bottom. Just stunning. Okay, let me get the alcohol, rub me alcohol, and I'm gonna get a paintbrush and uh, some glitter. Be right back. Okay, we're back. I really just can't get over it. It's so pretty. I 
Now, I could never get my camera to show it, but I always add, when I add my glitter, I always add, because it's so pretty even in the daylight, um, it's glow in the dark. So pretty much every soap I think I've done in a while has that. And it really does glow in the dark. My camera, I, I just had a hard time. It wouldn't pick it up. I'm sure there's a way. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more alcohol. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this set in front of the fan for a little bit, and then I'm going to uh, cut into it, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I really am in love with this soap. I do like all these colors together too. This is an end piece. Lavender smells pretty too. Here's another end piece. Okay, two more. Last one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. Comment down below. I always enjoy hearing uh, from you guys. And please become a subscriber. And once you do do that, press the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as I release, uh, release a new video. Thanks and have a great day.